What's up, Kingdom family? Welcome back to the Keys to the Kingdom, where we drop all the keys to the kingdom. If you're new to my channel, come on and join and subscribe. Make sure you like and comment. Let us know where you're from, okay? Because we are royalty over here. Kings and queens full of positive vibes, changing lives, and loving on the Lord, our Lord and Savior, right? All right, I am Dr. G. I'm in the building, and I'm super mellow and chill because... Today is the first day that I'm on a fast, and we're going to speak about more of that in a bit. But, um, yeah, I'm just feeling, like, the presence of the Lord, and I'm like, okay, chilling today, okay? Y'all not going to get the crazy me. <laughs> uh, my faithful family, I want to really, really genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, say thank you to you all. Um, Ladena, Ladina, Ladina. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm very big on pronouncing names, right? Because my last name is okay, and people always mess it up. And so I'm particular. I'm like, listen, that's my father's name. Put some respect on his name. Don't be saying his name any old type of way, okay? However, um, I pray that I said your name right, and I just want to really thank you. Um, I love all of y'all comments, and I just love all of my royal family in general, but I see that, you know, you're commenting back to people and being of service, and so it just reminds me of my statement that I always say, my phrase, rather, partner with Jesus, I'm partnered with Jesus, because literally, um, these videos and what people post it really is not all the time for us to be self-consumed it's for us to be of service to other people to give back and to just create that sisterhood and that brotherhood so i love all of the comments that i read where people are telling other people that they're praying for one another and they're guiding them back to either god or the word um that's major and so i'm shouting you out ladena ladina ladena ladena sorry um because i've seen you do that on multiple posts and multiple occasions so thank you my sister um also shout out to rosina rosina hello my love thank you for sowing your seed queen shout out to jaslyn hello my love thank you for sowing your seed queen shout out to ashanti hello queen thank you for sowing your seed and shout out to ashley hello my beautiful queen thank you for sowing your seed i will continue to cover and pray over your seeds and watch them grow and sprout beautifully and abundantly in Jesus name okay um also I will be responding to emails I have been getting your booking so thank you family for booking at infinitelyhealed.com and prayer requests I want to note uh, let everyone know rather that the prayer requests are written prayer requests so please write me what you would like me to pray on and I will um, pray for you I do not call people personally that is not something that God has opened me up to doing um, at this time maybe he will in the future but right now please just call I mean don't call me please just <laughs> send me an email of the written request uh, your written prayer request and I will pray for you okay family all right so oh family i have to tell y'all this thing before we jump into the word okay guess what almost ran me over today now this is the only thing i don't mind running me over okay but i wasn't in my car i was actually outside of my car i was going to get my nails done okay my father he treated your girl all right <laughs> yes i love listen i be really treated like god when i tell you he be like courting me and just spoiling me okay he listen he be doing a thing in my life but anyway i got my pedicure too and i had a little nice massage so it was a beautiful day i'm gonna do my hair tomorrow probably but yeah so um i was getting out the car to get my flip-flops and this beautiful car almost hit me i don't want y'all to see they, their license plate but let me see if we could do y'all listen do y'all see what that is okay that's the young man over there in the corner who almost hit your girl he over there in the corner over there okay but for those of you who do not know oh here's probably a better photo for those of you who do not know in my video previously i said um 
you're going to be receiving an offering. I don't know if that's the title of the video or not, but I'm like, you're going to be receiving an offering. And the way God gave me that revelation was through Porsche because the name Porsche means that. And then it was a ton of other confirmations. But I was like, today this car almost ran me over and I got out the car and I was laughing with him like, excuse me, you almost ran me over, you know? And he was like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, but I love your car. And so I started asking him all of the questions about his car. And he was like, yeah, it's a 2016. I said, how does it run? It like, he's like, it's good. You know, I don't have no problems with it. Um, it's almost been five years since he got it. So he was like, yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I was just eating that up, chewing it up because I'm like, Lord, I can't wait to get this car. I see that you're confirming everything you said to me. You know, sometimes he gives me words. Okay. And I put it out here because of course I'm assuming it's for his people, but in reality, I'm his people too so he talking to me and it's always good when he shows me what he's been saying about other people so I just had to share that with y'all because I'm like my god is so good alrighty family but yes I'm on day one of my fast um about to conclude it rather but we're transparent here we we family so this is literally gonna be a video of me just chopping it up with y'all okay um I wish y'all could actually feel these videos don't do God's messages a, a service it actually does it a disservice because y'all don't feel the spirit that i felt when i get these revelations when i get these words when god is speaking to me there's his spirit that is so 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 present and it's like crazy it's just amazing and um i wish that y'all could feel that through this video but it's okay in time when we in person okay we might do an in-person meetup okay y'all gonna feel how god be working through me and it's just gonna be beautiful but I pretty much have been losing power lately like um and I didn't know where it was coming from and I noticed that for one of these past six months of my life have been an adventure <laughs> that's my best way to put it it has been an adventure and um very challenging um really strengthening me pulling me giving me a faith muscle giving me a hope muscle right um really building i don't know great character inside of me and um these last three weeks in particular they have just had me out of wax like i've been feeling um like i'm going through a lot of spiritual attacks and um as soon as i pray for people too like if i go to sleep that night family i'm getting like beat up in the dream okay whoo it be it be a lot family and so god um i i guess god was sensing that right and i'm just like lord i don't know you know i don't know about this anymore you're gonna have to do something and of course he guided me onto a fast so my fast began with me having a beautiful worship session um watching a sermon and praying and then working out and one thing you guys um i would suggest is that the way you structure your day really sets the tone for your life for your day how you operate in your purpose and so what i do depending on what time you wake up the first three to four hours of your day i would suggest that you devote time to yourself that your self-care your self-love of course include god in that right so get up pray I always like to wash my hands and my feet um, before I do anything as it pertains to God. But yes, get up, pray, worship, excuse me, um, write God letters. Um, I don't know what y'all into, but write poems, whatever you're into. Read his word, of course, and pray on your knees in the most surrenderance position possible. It is the greatest form of intimacy, in my opinion, when it comes to being connected with God. And then at the end of your day, again, like I stop my day at a certain time and I'm very intentional. I'm not having any outside communication after this certain time. And although I don't have a family right now, God is always <laughs> preparing me for a family. He told me very early on in my life that I am a wife. I'm not a girlfriend. <laughs> I am a wife, okay? I am not a girlfriend. <laughs> and so everything about me is very family oriented. I really don't play. I run a tight ship over here, okay? If you come at me with nonsense, I don't have I have zero like like zero tolerance, okay? But um God is working on me still, okay? He's working on my patience, okay? But yes, um 
I say that to say that, no, I'm very protective of my family unit and of, of what God wants me to produce in this earth and in the world. And so um, anything against that, anything outside of his alignment, I just, it's blocked. Okay, family. And so after a certain time, it's like, hey, this is family time in the future, right? So after a certain time, I'm like, hey, this is me and God time because God is my main priority right now, aside from the other things that He has my hands on. So I just wanted to give y'all that little nugget because it might bless some of you to start having more powerful days, right? Because that is what this message is about. Um, lately, especially these last three weeks, like I said, my power has been drifting dwindling away and so my fast is about getting connected back to the power that god has blessed me with that god has gifted me with and so there's power in prayer there's power in living in your purpose there's power in praising god even when we don't understand where he coming how he coming and what he coming with all right i noticed that even sometimes in my ministry when god will give me a word Yes, I get up here and I will tell you all the word, but by the time I get it to you, it's not necessarily me speaking it in his power that he gave it to me, you know? And I think his power, when you feel it in that moment, family, I know those who know what I'm talking about, y'all know, when you feel the power of God, it's like, there's nothing changing that feeling that it's so un unexplainable.